Cody Dillon grew up here on the Central Coast and used to work as an English language teacher. However, a stint in COVID lockdown and with no international students coming to Australia, he decided to take himself back to TAFE to follow his passion of creating electronic music. And since then, he has started his own business, which combines his love of teaching and music while working with young people who don't always love school. And it takes him from Cobham Juvenile Justice Centre to Ruta Hill and back here to North Gosford Education Centre. And Cody joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Caroline. Thanks for having me. I think uh, lockdown, COVID lockdown, changed a lot of this, and in particular what you're doing. Now, I understand it was a trip to Wilcannia that started your work in making music with young people. Just tell us more about that. Yeah, that, that's right. A, a good friend of mine was working out there in the community um, and just asked a few friends if anyone would want to go on a road trip, really, and that's how it started. He knew I was a musician as well, and asked if I wanted to bring along my mobile recording studio. So I took that out to the desert and we got some really good results. We were welcomed into the school out there, Will Kenya Central School, and worked with some other kids in another organisation, um, trying to encourage young people who were not engaging with mainstream school. Um, and yeah, it was fantastic, but it was all by chance and that's how my business, Song Lab, began. And look, here's a little taste of what you did out there. It's called Cool Kids. Here's a sample of your work just so we can have a listen and then we'll come back for a bit of a chat. We're the Mobbers, Cool Kids. Where are we from? Where are we from? Move Kenya, Cool Kids. We're the Mobbers, Cool Kids. Where are we from? Where are we from? Will Kenya, Cool Kids. That is just fantastic. They're able to share their stories through your help. We're speaking with Cody Dillon from Song Lab here on the Central Coast, helping vulnerable young people. What difference did it make? What what uh, visual difference could you see while you were working with those children out west? Well, on that project, it's just they lighten up, you know. Um, I guess kids are so used to nursery rhymes and traditional songs. And but what I'm bringing is bringing in is a mobile electronic recording studio, and it just really appeals to them. It lights up like a spaceship um, and it's making the kind of music that they're interested in or their older siblings are interested in or even their parents. It might take like, yeah, trying to engage kids with something so modern and so fresh that they can't help but love it. But yeah, they grow in confidence. They learn microphone techniques. Mostly they just have a really, really good time. (laughs) And look, it's so critical, Dylan, uh, Cody, Dylan, sorry, at the moment, because uh, mental health with young people we know is just skyrocketing. So this is a really critical program. You're currently working at North Gosford Learning Centre. Um, How do you go about recruiting the children for this program? Well, yeah, first day in the playground, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, You know, I'm I'm working there in just a music capacity, so I'm literally going around asking kids what music they're into. Hey, do you want to come into the studio? But it's all about rapport for me. Once they've um, seen you there for a while, a lot of those kids, they come from trauma backgrounds or um, they've had pretty tough lives. Uh, so, yeah, trust is a real thing. And it's just time and shooting some hoops on the court. You know, I'll, by any means necessary, I'll get them on board. And and then, yeah, you not everyone's a music maker or interested, but the ones who are keep coming back and we're getting really good results. And a lot of it's just, just building that rapport and trust and their confidence because, you know, I want to set them up not to fail. So the lessons are very achievable and realistic and um, it's not such a scary thing. It's not like coming in and seeing a piano for the first time or a violin or, a, you know, an instrument that you don't know how to play. The electronic setup is... Um, Yes, designed so that they can win and and produce music immediately. (laughs) Yeah, you have some experience working in youth detention centres. Can you tell us about your experience working out at Cobham? Yeah, so this is through an organisation called MAD, Musicians Making a Difference. They're a fantastic organisation based in Gosford, actually. The headquarters is in Gosford and they've been doing what they do for a long time. So my project, Song Lab, fits in perfectly with them. They've had me out to Cobham near Penrith. 
And yeah, for me, that was a little bit daunting, my first time in a juvenile justice centre. And again, really amazing result. I'm going there again in a few weeks, and I really look forward to it. There was uh, the boys there who were super receptive. And uh, yeah, even one of, you know, we do different units at a time. Must be almost 80 boys in one day, so groups of 20 at a time. And um, yeah, just getting some of them even thanking us, like a speech, one of the boys. On behalf of our unit, we just want to thank you all for coming in and we really appreciate your time. And But, yeah, again, it's just engaging them. They must have some long days there and boredom's a factor and just engaging them. There's a lot of other good programs going through juvenile justice, but um, it was really good to see them light up and rap and one of the guards come over and rap with them and they seem to actually have a really good relationship. That sounds fantastic. Well, that yeah. sounds like it's very, very important, these uh, young people in detention. It's not great. Uh, and I think that's under review at the moment, isn't it, about the ages, about when people do go into, children do go into detention. But it's so great that you were able to, in lockdown, when it was pretty traumatic for a lot of people, including these children who it's probably affected as well, uh, that you can combine your music with your teaching. It sort of just all seemed to be you know, come together at the right time for everybody. Yeah, and I, I love what I'm doing. I mean, yeah, I was always a musician and I was always a, a teacher, but uh, teaching wasn't my real passion. It was just, it allowed me to be a musician and now everything's come together. And yeah, I feel like I'm reaching so many young people and they're getting a lot out of it. It's, it's a dream come true for me, really. And you are helping people. And we're about to hear one more. We've got a sample of some of your work with some girls in Rudy Hill. Now, this is a song they made called Shine. I understand you're heading out to Rudy Hill today. Tell them... Tell us about this piece we're about to play called Shine. Yeah, I think that's a really forward-thinking school, the principal Chris there. And again, I did that through MAD, Musicians Making a Difference. They organise a lot of great projects on the Central Coast, around the country and in Western Sydney, where there's a real need and so much talent. So a lot of these girls in this group, they were a music class. They'd separated the boys and the girls so that we could just give the girls our time and focus on them and They love R&B, 90s R&B, which is right up my alley and um, really diverse school. So a lot of these girls are Pacific Islanders, Maori girls, a few Filipino girls as well, and just just great voices. And they sing. A lot of their backgrounds are in church, so they're natural musicians anyway. They've been singing their whole lives. So, yeah, when you hear it, I think you'll pick up on that. They're amazingly talented singers and performers. All right, let's have a listen. Thanks so much for your time. Good luck on your trip today. And we look forward to hearing more about the work you're doing with these vulnerable young people as you help them make their electronic music podcast. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thanks for having me. There's Cody Dillon from Song Lab here on the Central Coast. And here's that work with those girls out at Rudy Hill called Shine. this far but now it's time to sit down and reflect on the past and whatever happens next we need to see some change in our life because together we can you shine, shine.
about you. That brings tingles up and down my spine. The girls from Rudy Hill, vulnerable young people, working with Cody Dillon from Song Lab here on the Central Coast, doing podcasts of their music. That's amazing.